In this video, you're going to learn about how to find the average rate of change between two x values. So what exactly does that mean, average rate of change? Well, whenever you see that phrase, average rate of change, think about the slope. And remember from Algebra 1, the slope is the change in y over the change in x, or you can use this formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, when we talk about average rate of change, say for example, we're working with like a graph like a parabola. Depending on where you are on that parabola, the slope or the average rate of change may be different. Like if you're over here, you can see we have a negative slope. If you're over here, you can see we have like a zero slope. If you're over here, we have a positive slope. But let's just say for example, they say what's the average rate of change from this x uh, value over to this x value, meaning from this point to this point. Well, this is the slope of the secant line. See how it cuts across the graph at two points? That's our secant line, and that's the average rate of change. Of course, in between here, you can see this has a negative slope, zero, positive, more positive, but on average, from here to here, that's the slope of the line. So let's take a look at three examples. We'll do a couple together, and you can practice one on your own, or two on your own if you want. Starting with this first one, say our function is uh, f of x equals 5x minus 3, and we want to find the average rate of change from x1, which is 2, to x2, which is 5. So what they're really telling us here is that the x-coordinate is 2. We'll have to find the y-coordinate, and then here on the second point, the x-coordinate is 5. We'll have to find the corresponding y-coordinate. So if we put 2 in, we get 5 times 2 is 10, minus 3 is 7, if we put 5 in, we get 5 times 5 is 25, minus 3 is 22. Now we have our two points. You can think of this as x1, y1, and x2, y2. Using our slope formula, we're going to do y2 minus y1, so 22 minus 7, over x2 minus x1, so 5 minus 2, and that's coming out to 15 divided by 3, which is equal to Five. Now you might be saying, Mario, that's no surprise to me because I can see that this is the equation of a line with a slope of 5. So in this particular problem, it always has that same rate of change of 5. But in this next example, number 2, you can see we're dealing with a quadratic function, which is a parabola, and the average rate of change is not always the same. It depends on between what two points you're working with. So let's look at this one now. Same idea. Let's look at the first point, the x-coordinate is 0 but we don't know the y-coordinate. The second one, uh, the x-coordinate is 3, but we need to find the y-coordinate. So if we put 0 in, we get 0 squared, which is 0, minus 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. If we put 3 in, we get 9 minus 12, which is negative 3, plus 1 is negative 2. Now if we do our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that comes out to negative 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. So that would be the average rate of change, or the slope, between those two points. Let's take a look at one more example. See if you can try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause the video. So we have f of x equals 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 4, and we want to find the average rate of change from 1 to our x value of 5. So how would you do that one? Well, if I was going to do this, I would set it up as two coordinates, so 1 and 5. If I put 1 in, let's see, 1 minus 1 is 0, the square root of 0 is 0, times 2 is 0, plus 4 is 4, so that's our first point. If I put 5 in, 5 minus 1 is 4, the square root of 4 is 2, times this 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8. Now we have our two coordinates, we can find our slope, or our average rate of change, y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1, 8 minus 4 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So that's the slope or the average rate of change between these two x values. So great job. If you want to see some more examples uh, that I did previously in, in a previous video talking about average rate of change, follow me over to that video right there, and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.